Hello guys, it's Lauren. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be making this video. Um, we have a lot to talk about. I left LA. And not only that, but I'm standing in my house. Um, that feels so weird to say out loud, but it feels so good. Um, let's just get into it. I have a lot of tea on why I left, and I'll tell you where I moved at the end of this video. So let's get to talking. Also, disclaimer, everything that you see in the background is gonna be super messy, but I just moved in like a day ago or two days ago, so cut me some slack. I know it's a mess, but you know, I'm getting used to it, so. I'm so happy to be making this video because I feel like it's been a while since we've sat down and just talked to each other, and a lot of thought went into making this decision, and I'll tell you a little bit more about why, but it almost felt like this was all like meant to be, or like fate, or like exactly the path that I'm meant to be on, if that makes any sense. So, yeah, let's talk. Okay, so like I was saying, I'm in my house. That is so crazy. Honestly, I never thought that I'd be able to get a house this young and growing up, like I was never around things this nice. So being here definitely feels like, whoa, I can't believe I achieved that in my lifetime, especially this early on into it. And you know, second of all, I'm just feeling super grateful and proud of myself. Okay, so, hi, I left LA and I'm so glad that I did so. We'll get into all the reasons why. But basically, I spent a couple years in LA and don't get me wrong, I really liked it and I really enjoyed it and it was super fun. I met a lot of amazing people and it is a very cool place to live. Everything is exciting, there's super trendy spots and it's a very talked about city and it's super happening, you know, like it's LA. But this year, oh my god, time is flying so fast because of this whole quarantine stuff that I'm like, wait, my timeline in my head is not even a thing. I would say I've been ready to buy a house for like six months, eight months, honestly. I've been literally looking for a house for eight months. And I tried again and again and again for these houses in LA. And first of all, I mean, the houses over there are so expensive. And the houses that I were looking at, they were really beautiful, don't get me wrong, but they were not this. And I will show you this eventually. Right now, it's just a mess and you don't even wanna see it like this, believe me, but I'll show you guys soon enough. Um, I mean, honestly, if you follow me on Instagram, you probably see it all day long. But um, yeah, the houses that I was looking at in LA were beautiful, but they weren't a dream home. And they kind of like, you just can't, you can't get a lot in LA. And you'd be so surprised just throwing a number out there to make it easy, but like a million dollars. You would think a million dollars can get you a dream house. It's a fucking million dollars. Not in LA. <laughs> Not in LA, girl. So, I mean, I must have tried like five different houses in LA. I literally went into escrow twice in LA and they just wouldn't work out. Another part of LA that I never really vibed with or I wouldn't say that I never really vibed with it because I definitely did at some points in my life, but I would say that it's not something that I'm trying to make a forever thing is how sceny LA is. It's just so sceny. It really, really is. I, I say all the time to my friends, LA is like living in a physical Instagram explore page and that is fun for vacation or for a little bit, but that's not real life. That's not what I want for myself. That's not what I want to wake up every day and that be the vibe around me. It's just not my thing. It's a very competitive city and especially with what I do too. I just feel like everything is so like, what do you do? Da da da, like how many followers? It's just like, that's not my vibe. And I don't know if I picture that for the rest of my life, you know, that being like a forever vibe for me. It's just not really my thing and it's a tricky thing to avoid there too because of what I do. It's not like I could just go make like normal friends because it's so hard for me to do that. I wouldn't even know where to begin finding them and it's just everybody in LA wants to make it and I appreciate that about the city, I really do, but it does get old. Like it really does get old. Like everybody's trying to be a celebrity in LA. Doesn't matter who you are, 
doesn't matter where you go, like you could literally go to the store to buy a throw blanket and the person selling you the throw blanket is gonna like, oh, I'm also a stylist, blah, blah, blah. It's great, like it really is great, but it's so entertainment industry all the time, everywhere you go, like your barista's an actress, this, it's so entertainment industry. That to me, it just doesn't feel like real life. I grew up in Miami, it was not the entertainment industry and that to me was more real life. It was families, it was people, it was just, regular people, you know, which I appreciate in a city. So another thing too that I really started to notice a lot, especially during this quarantine, was I was asking myself, what does LA have to offer for me specifically and how much of that do I take advantage of, do I utilize, how much of that makes sense for me to stay and for me to make this my forever place? And I'm like, okay, I mean, like, I am in entertainment, so I do benefit off of being able to drive to my meetings or being able to go to these events and being able to meet people, blah, 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 blah. Here's the thing. For a lot of people, that works, and I do benefit from that a little bit, but I'm just not a networker, not my vibe. It's like, that's just not how I get my business. It's just not through networking. And the events are great. They're fun, but you don't really get anything from them you know like they're more of a fun thing to do rather than an important thing to do like you don't really benefit off of going to a ton of events you really don't and i feel like that's such a priority in la everybody thinks the more i go to events like the more success i'll have and, I, and to me like it just never really equated success for me like it really never did and i have my friends in la and i love my friends but i was asking myself i'm like okay if i move and these friendships can't survive me not being there physically all the time, then how deep are these friendships? You know, that's not even a reason to stay in the city anymore then if, if my friendships are not deep enough to survive me not being there all the time. I have friends right now that I had from Miami when I was growing up and every time I see them, I'm like, hey, it's like nothing ever happened, like no time went by and our friendship is exactly the same. So I'm confident that it will be like that with my LA friends and if it's not, then who cares? I guess our friendship wasn't that strong enough to begin with, you know what I'm saying? I have confidence that I'm a nice, friendly person and I genuinely believe that I will make my friend group here. Um, that's what has me a little worried because I'm like, oh my God, I just want friends but I know that I won't make them. <laughs> and another thing about the LA like scene is it is really fun and there always are events to go to and as fun as they are, like I really don't even go to them. I mean, I kind of do, but I don't and I really just stay home with my boyfriend and we watch movies and that's the kind of people that we are and we just, we're homebodies so yeah, as fun as the nightlife is, it's just not really my vibe, so I don't think I'm gonna be missing out on that too bad. And another big thing about this, guys, is LA is so expensive. The houses are super expensive, obviously, but everything is expensive there. Like rent, ridiculous, anything, any single thing you buy. For example, for example, a cocktail. You go out, you buy a cocktail of 15 bucks, 16 bucks in LA. Here, where I'm at, 10 bucks, 11 bucks if it's an expensive one. It's like little things like that. Like obviously it's not that I moved here for cheaper cocktails, but it's those little things that you just spend so much less money on. Like really the most random things, like avocado toasts are like 16 bucks. And I'm like, for what? Like really for what? So that's another big reason why I'm super excited to be living here. I get to live such a higher quality of life. And I honestly feel like a lot of people are realizing that right now, especially because of quarantine. People are stuck in these big cities and they're like, why do I pay so much money to live here? Like this isn't even that much of a high quality of life. You know what I mean? I feel like that's just like this big realization that we're all kind of having. Good for us. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna tell you where I moved and then we're just gonna talk about it because I'm so obsessed with it here, guys. So I moved to Scottsdale, Arizona, and I love it here. Honestly, literally no offense to anybody in Arizona. Like, please don't take offense to this. I literally moved here, so you can't take offense to this. But when I thought of Arizona before, I don't know, for some reason I was thinking of like, one big desert with like tumbleweeds and a bunch of cacti. And I was like, that's basically Arizona. And then I came here and I was like, wait a minute. 
This place rocks. First of all, the restaurants are so trendy. Like, I don't know why I thought like if I move to Arizona, then I'm like, I'm not gonna get excited to dress up and go to dinner because it's gonna be some like random place with random people. But looking back, it was such a narrow-minded perspective on life. Oh my God, my horizons have been so broadened, guys. Honestly, I feel like you know what I'm talking about. If you've been like stuck in your big city and you've been thinking like, yo, what if I just get out of here and move to literally anywhere else? You start realizing like, oh, there's more life outside of the city that I'm familiar with. Who would have thought? <laughs> we love it. Um, but yeah, no, everything here is so trendy and so beautiful and the people are so nice and everything just rocks. The streets are clean. I'm walking around at night and I'm not scared for my life, literally. Because like, literally when you walk around LA, it's such a scary city to walk around at night. If you've been there, you know exactly what I mean. Like it literally doesn't even matter what part you're in. People are excited and happy to be here. People are friendly. Like LA was so cold and everyone was just like, I don't know, everyone was so self-absorbed is what it felt like. And I don't wanna make these big generalizations and like crap on my old city that I used to live in because I really do love LA and I plan on going there all the time. Scottsdale is a 45 minute flight away from LA. That's another huge reason why I made this choice. It's 45 minutes. If I need to go to LA this weekend, I can hop on a plane and be there in an hour. And then I'm in LA and then I come back home and I get to live in my peaceful life. You know what I mean? So that was a huge factor of it. Like I didn't move to Miami, which is literally the opposite side of the country. I didn't move to Dallas, which would be another like five hour flight. Like I just moved a little hour plane right away, a little hop, skip and a jump, but I get to live in like real life. Like here, you can just decide that you wanna go get your oil changed. You just get in the car and you just go. It's the most peaceful drive and then you're there. It's not like sitting in traffic for 45 minutes, being stressed out, all this chaos, all this pollution. I don't know, man. I'm just really excited to be here and I'm really excited for this next chapter in my life with you guys. I'm really excited in this next chapter in me and Henny's life. Now we can really just focus on each other. We have our first home together. We're decorating it. We're in peace. We're here. Like I'm literally sitting here right now and right behind me is Henny and he's talking to the pool guy. Like, uh, what? what? Like we were paying more in rent in our two bedroom apartment than we're paying on this mortgage on this mortgage. So it's real life, you know what I mean? Like this is just, this is what life is all about. So I'm excited to go on this journey with you. I'm honestly very excited to put myself in a completely new environment because I feel like a lot of us are going through these changes right now. A lot of us are moving. A lot of us are realizing that these big cities aren't for us anymore. Or a lot of us are just in these transitional periods of life that are scary. But when things feel scary, typically they're good because nothing good happens in life that doesn't feel a little bit scary when you're going into it or it doesn't feel a little, you know, jarring. It's taking big leaps is important in life to do big things. Nobody just comfortably gets to the top, you know, like there's a lot of stress and anxiety and changes that come with that. And right now I'm just in this phase of my life where I'm really excited. And all I think about is this YouTube channel. Literally, it's all I think about. And I could do this from anywhere. And now we have this dope ass space that I can make my content in. Like I have so many rooms that I can just vlog in and this and that. I have a glam room now, we have an office now. Like there's just so much more space dedicated to this. And this is where my attention is and I just know that I'm gonna be at peace here and I could really just be a better version of myself which is gonna translate to better videos better content and good vibes man so I don't know I feel like I was all over the place in this video so please forgive me um, follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my YouTube channel I'm so excited for this guys and I'm so excited to finally tell you about this I'm so excited. I didn't want to say anything before it was like before it was real, you know, like escrow is 30 days and then literally anything can happen to your house. So you can think you're buying a house. You can think you're buying a house and on the 29th day they could be like, oh, you're not getting it. So I really wanted to make sure that like this was a solid thing for me because imagine I'm like, guys, I bought a house and the bank was like, no, you didn't. And I'm like, oh my God, guys, that's so embarrassing. But that didn't happen. Okay. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. I love you guys. Bye.